Do not get into that rut where you go to the same restaurant over and over again. <laughs> it's time for you to take your dining experience to another level and try something new. Food blogger and author Johanna Kramer is here to give us the skinny on upcoming foodie events. The Bull City Vegan Challenge is coming up. This is fun, and like you said, Mike, you know, trying to get out and diversify yourself in the restaurants you go to. Not only that, but um, trying different types of food. So we've got the Bull City. Uh, Bull vegan City Challenge. Vegan Challenge mm -hmm. coming up, and this is an opportunity for diners to go to six different restaurants in downtown Durham and try their vegan entrees and then have a chance to vote mm. um, for, I guess, the, the best one, the best looking dish, also the, the best secret dish, sort of how did the chef hide certain ingredients, um, as well as the best dessert, and that would be between the parlor and uh, the cupcake bar. That's so pretty cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's and they don't have, more than just Meatless Mondays, they could do it any day of the week. They can right? do it any day of the week, and it's the entire month of February. It's a collaboration between the Triangle Meatless Mondays, uh, Bull City Bucks, and of course the Bull City Challenge. But with the Bull City Bucks, you can download their app to iPhone or Android and scan the QR codes at mm -hmm. each restaurant mm -hmm. and you know, earn bucks to use around Durham in different places. What about for the people who love wine? The Triangle Wine Experience. What's the Triangle about? Wine Experience is done through the Frankie Lemon uh, Foundation, and it is a way for them to raise money for the Frankie Lemon School, which is a tuition-free school for children with educational needs. And so it starts this Thursday, goes through Saturday. Thursday, it's a culmination of multiple dinners across the Triangle at different restaurants, and you get a chance to experience a, just an excellent dinner at restaurants like On or Pools Diner, Angus Barn, as well as you know the wine pairings that go with it. On uh, Friday, they are doing a tour of the school which and providing breakfast. Mm. Uh, and you get to hear from actually the kids that go to the school. Yeah. And then Friday evening, uh, multiple wine shops across the Triangle are actually going to do tastings with a specific winery, give you a chance to sip and taste the wines as well as purchase the wines. Right. Saturday, it all blows up with a huge gala event that includes uh, multiple chefs from across um, both our state and other states, but our, you know, chefs from our backyard, like Ashley Christensen, uh -huh. Matt Kelly, Aaron Vandemark, they will all be there serving food. And, and while we're talking about wine, let's talk about the Raleigh Wine and Beer Walk. This is fun. Uh, this is a chance for people who like beer to walk through Glenwood South uh, with their little beer guide yeah. and go to the restaurants participating and try either a sample of wine or beer, but you get two tickets per restaurant. All right, so, so we, only, we only have like 30 seconds left. So Chop NC and the Winter Seafood Jubilee, tell me about those coming Chop up. Chop NC, great uh, organization for people who love food and uh, history and stories. The Spoken Dish is coming up on uh, the middle of the month with mm -hmm. Kate Medley. She's a uh, photojournalist, and she's just gone across the South and talked to multiple people about just southern food traditions and different types of food. Hmm. And then the Winter Seafood Jubilee is a chance for people to learn about sustainable seafood as well as different types of fish that you not, might not be used to. And three of uh, local blo like local bloggers, yeah. including myself, get a Good chance to do cook with three different f types of fish. Um, we each get one week, and so I'll be the third week of February. And then multiple dinners are set up at the end of the month mm -hmm. at Mandolin, Oak Leaf, and uh, the Carolina Crossroads at the Carolina Inn. So that's, there's, that's, that's totally worth checking out. I am my so kind of yes. event. I love <laughs> seafood, and this, I'm always curious about what's in season. What do you eat, especially in the winter time? So and this interesting is great. fish. Yeah. So we're going to put all this information up on our website. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. Love being here. Thank you. Well, make sure you go to My Carolina today. We're going to have a list of everything, even some of the things that we didn't get a chance to talk about. Mm -hmm. I'll be up at MyCarolinaToday.com. And don't forget to vote for Permalee. You have until 3 p.m. I believe mm -hmm. this afternoon to vote. It's very easy. It only took me a minute to do it. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. And I know she thinks I'm never coming home, never coming home. But I miss her pretty smile